I welcome you to the Prayer Research Institute, where prayer is the focus. We have the video on the three mystery religion cults, part one, part two, and today we are going to be doing with the part three. We had the part one, the part two, this is the part two behind me, the mystery of the three religion, the three mystery religion cults and backward dreams number two is what is projected at the back of me. Today I welcome you to the third part and the final part for the court of the day. Today we are dealing with the three mystery religion cults and backward dreams video number three the cult of the dead this is the final part of the cult of the dead and we need to hit the ground running the secrets in the bible is what we endeavor to bring to you and convert into prayer that are fast acting prayers our focus is indeed prayers prayer works if you are in doubt, just do these prayers as we present them and see what is going to happen even in the next 24 hours. If you, you will need to watch video number one and two in order to be able to understand this number three, the three mystery religion cults and backward dreams. The essence of the first two videos was just to showcase the idea that worship is the totality of your essence. Worship is what God created you to do. Worship flows out of us as a matter of course. Worship, you can't stop it. We are born by worship. We grow by worship. We prosper by worship. We die by worship. Everything is worship. That secret by itself, that truth by itself, when converted to prayers, you will be surprised the result. So I'm going to start with prayers immediately. We will endeavor going forward to start our videos and our prayers with this one prototype. This is this, ter this um, model of prayer for salvation. Once you can eat these prayers, you are qualified to eat other prayers. Once you are able to take these prayers, every other prayer will work for you. Pray along with me. Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Forgive my sins the sins of my parents and ancestors. If I am none of yours, give me a repentant heart and a godly sorrow for my sins and make me one of yours. Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Forgive my sins and the sins of my parents and ancestors. If I am none of yours, give me a repentant heart and a godly sorrow for my sins and make me one of yours. Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Forgive my sins, the sins of my parents and ancestors. If I am none of yours, give me a repentant heart and a godly sorrow for my sins, and make me one of yours. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. And this is the very next prayer. The idols ever worshipped in my bloodline that are still in my blood to sponsor backward dreams. Let the power in the blood of Jesus destroy them now in the name of Jesus. The idols ever worship in my bloodline that are still in my blood to sponsor backward dreams. Let the power in the blood of Jesus destroy them now in the name of Jesus. The idols ever worshipped in my bloodline that are still in my blood 
to sponsor backward dreams. Let the power in the blood of Jesus destroy them now. The idols, the gods, the powers ever worshipped in my bloodline that are still in my blood to sponsor backward dreams. Let the power in the blood of Jesus destroy them. In the name of Jesus, touch your belly button. The idols ever worship in my bloodline that are still in my blood to sponsor backward dreams. Let the power in the blood of Jesus destroy them now in the name of Jesus. The idols ever worship in my bloodline that are still in my blood to sponsor backward dreams. Let the power in the blood of Jesus destroy them now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's get down to the business. We, we, we have introduced the three cults. The fertility cult, the cult of child sacrifice, child sacrifice and the cult of the dead. We have explained these cults as drivers of systemic idolatry. That is, it, it, time is not waiting for us to make a decision that I, I belong, I want to be a Christian, I want to be a Mohammedan, I want to be a Muslim, uh, I want to be a, a, a Buddhist. Time doesn't wait for us to make that choice. Once we are born, worship begins to flow out of us. Because that worship is the power by which we live life. Because God created man for worship, to worship him. <clears throat> so once you eat life, worship just comes out of you. And because that worship just comes out of you, there are those powers who are been here longer than us. They know how to capture that worship <clears throat> since the fall of man. In fact, what we call idolatry is nothing but worship capture mechanism. So these three mystery religion cults they are worship capture mechanism, worship hijack mechanism. So there is worship outflow from the court of the dead. We all are born, we all grow and mature, and we all die. So these three mystery religion cults, as a matter of fact, they cover bet growth and prosperity and death so you have the fertility cult the cult of child sacrifice and the cult of the dead we are dealing with the cult of the dead today we are going to give you every secret associated with the cult of the dead and use them in prayers our purpose again is prayer saying the prayers we are going to take based on this secret and this truth as revealed in the word of God, will do you well. In fact, because they are so fast acting, you will be surprised. Beginning even from your dreams, we shall be able to send with these prayers backward dreams back to sender. Because these backward dreams are actually originating because of these three mystery religion calls. They are foundational. They are basic and fundamental to mankind. So if you permit me now, let's understand them also as worship capture mechanism. The powers that are not God, but want to behave like God, they, they need a way to capture our worship. You see, worship flows out of us and this cult of the dead is a worship generator from mankind that is they use the cult of the dead to capture the worship of man they use fertility cult to capture our worship they use the the cult of child sacrifice which is nothing but a prosperity cult to capture the worship of man so that is what their whole business is all about. So mark the sequence. 
So worship capture mechanism, worship hijack me mechanism by the gods that are not God. This is what the court of the dead is about. Having established that, that this is a worship capture mechanism, I want you to also understand that worship is that which automatically flows out of us for life to exist and persist. According to the Bible, women, we were created to worship God. Worship is the primary purpose of every living soul on this earth. Worship is your primary purpose. If you are not aware of it, they will use it to tie you down. They will use it to cage you. So I am praying every power that is using worship to cage us, may the power die. Every power that is taking advantage that we cannot but worship, may the power die. Power taking advantage that I cannot but worship to capture my worship, die in the name of Jesus. Power taking advantage of I cannot but worship in order to capture my worship, let the power die. The idols taking advantage of I cannot but worship to capture my worship, die in the name of Jesus. Powers taking advantage of the fact that I cannot but worship to capture my worship, die in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Pray like that. Powers taking advantage of the fact that I cannot but worship to capture my worship, die in the name of Jesus. Powers taking advantage of the fact that I cannot but worship to capture my worship, die in the name of Jesus. The idols and the gods taking advantage of the fact that I cannot but worship to capture my worship, die at it, die at it in the name of Jesus. Powers taking advantage of the fact that I cannot but worship to capture my worship, Die in the name of Jesus. The powers, the idols, the gods taking advantage of the fact that I cannot but worship to capture my worship. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers taking advantage of the fact that I cannot but worship to capture my worship. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That prayer, for example, shows clearly a deep mystery, a deep secret, which many are not aware of. What is that secret? Man cannot but worship. You have no choice but to worship. Even what you don't know, you worship. We worship even what we don't know. That is how deep it is. Now, follow me carefully. We are created to worship God. That is our primary purpose for living. Every product exists for a purpose determined by the manufacturer and not the product. These people, I have, have I formed for myself that they show forth my praise. Praise is an act of worship. These people, have I formed for myself that they show forth my praise. Isaiah 43, 21. Mark that scripture. So, when we, in 1 Corinthians 10, 31, therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Good and dandy. Enough of that to show that worship is our essence. Now, the cult of the dead. Why the cult of the dead? The cult of the dead primarily is a worship capture mechanism. Why the cult of the dead? The cult of the dead is a worship hijack mechanism. Why the cult of the dead? Because the idols, the gods, and these powers, they want what belongs to God. They want our worship. They want to be like God, so they need the worship of man. Man that they captured in the Garden of Eden when Adam disobeyed God. So this cult of the dead serves a number of religious and social functions because you are compelled to partake of it because every family has a dead you will not find family where you will not find the dead none in fact 
there is the belief that it's making ancestor worship to prosper. Ancestor worship is a cult of the dead activity. Why? They believe that the dead, the living and the yet to be born are one. So remembering and honoring the deceased loved ones. Why are they remembering and honoring the deceased loved ones? We mentioned in the earlier two videos because these are the ones who they believe have the knowledge of, of what they are facing in life and can be of help to them. Man needs help and the dead have been taught by mankind at being of help to them. People think that if you can consult the dead, they can give you secrets. Remember what happened in the Bible when Saul consulted the wish of Endor to get to get uh, Saul to bring up Samuel from the dead because he believed that Samuel could be of help to him. Why not go to God? Why go to Samuel? Beliefs about the dead, they are strongholds that is enforcing seeing the dead in the dream. So if you are seeing the dead in your dream, after this series of prayers, it should stop. Very quickly, um, what are these activities? We want to look into the Bible to see these activities so that we can do the prayers. What are the activities of the cult of the dead? The activities are remembering and honoring the diseased loved ones. Remembering and honoring deceased loved ones. What are the activities of the cult of the dead? Architectural monuments, form of food and drink offerings. They offer food and drink offerings to the dead. In fact, in China, you will see it very often. It is part of their own ancestor, ancestor worship, whereby they have statues representing the dead and they put food there regularly. I mean regularly. How do you honor the dead? Architectural monuments, when you build a building and put in the memory of, you are partaking of the court of the dead. When you do in memorial in, in the newspaper, you remember the dead. Remembering the dead is an activity of the cult of the dead. Can somebody hear me? The efforts we make to remember the dead, they are activities of the cult of the dead. They are worship elements of the cult of the dead. So when you are taking an advertisement, say in memorial of your father, it's, it's not you are worshiping because the cult of the dead is a worship capture mechanism. Funerary inscriptions, that is the writings in honor of the dead. Invocation of the dead person's name. People they die and you keep invoking their names. If you are taking the name of your dead uncle, your dead great-great-grandfather, it is because at the invocation of that name, of somebody long dead, you are partaking of the activities of the cult of the dead. You remember when Zechariah, when they were asking Zechariah, uh, what is the name of John the Baptist? They were expecting Zechariah to give a name of a, a relative. But well, he said, no, his name is John. I said, about nobody in your family is called John. Because normally people give the name of those that have been long gone and dead to the new ones that are born. Because of that singular belief that the dead, the living, and the yet to be born, they form a complete circle. They are one. So the, you invoke the dead person's name. When you are calling a child and it is the name of your dead uncle, you are partaking of the cult of the dead. And protection or repatriation of human remains when people take the dead body and rebury or, or after some years, you say you are, you are, you are doing the funeral again. They have a way of, of calling it. Somebody dead 50 years ago and they are remembering that person 50 years later. Say so they are turning back the back of the dead. That they are turning the dead. 
and they do another ceremony. All these are activities of the cult of the dead. Listen to the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 1. Ye are the children of the Lord your God. Ye shall not. I want you to pay attention to that scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 1. Our, our prayers are about to start. Ye are the children of the Lord your God. Ye shall not cut yourself, nor make any boldness between your eyes for the dead. So cutting yourselves, making boldness between your eyes, they are funeral activities. They are activities and rituals and rites of the cult of the dead. To cut yourself, incisions, to make boldness between your eyes, these are activities of the cult of the dead. See, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself, above all the nations that are upon the head. We are not to partake of the cult of the dead. Once you come to Christ, you must cut it off. If you don't cut it off, they will deal with you. In you see, in that scripture in Deuteronomy, it says, it says, Ye shall not. What shall you not do? What the Edens are doing. The Eden nations not only did these things in honor of their gods, but in grief for the death of a relative. I want you to look at those scriptures. Please picture them and go through them one by one. You will find it. We cannot go through all of them for the sake of time. But look at them. Leviticus 19, 27 to 28. Leviticus 21, verse 5. Jeremiah 16, 16. In fact, let's look at Jeremiah 16, 16. Jeremiah 16, 16, 6. It says, Both the great and the small shall die in this land. They shall not be buried. Neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves, nor make themselves bald for them. Everything mentioned there in verse 6 is activity of the cult of the dead. What are they? Lamentation. There are those who lament for the dead. That is their job. Cut themselves. Make themselves bald. That is, you shave. If you have ever shaved because somebody died, you have partaken. In fact, it is, it is impossible not to have participated in the activities of the court of the dead. If somebody has died in your family, and every family, somebody has died. So we all, one way, when even we did not know what it was, look at Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27 to 28. You shall not run the corners of your heads. Neither shall thou mark the corners of thy beard. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor put any marks upon you. I am the Lord. These are activities of the cult of the dead. That these nations were already partaking of. And God said, for his own people, you must not, you shall not. Ye shall not. Ye shall not, because you are now in Christ. You cannot do that. In First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13, But I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them we shall asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. That is, there is sorrowing for the dead has become a ritual, a rite in the court of the dead. The sorrow for the dead as an element of worship. This is where worship has been captured or hijacked from man using the issue of the dead. Amen. In look at that, Isaiah 56, verse 5. I will set up within my temple and my world a monument that will be better than sons and daughters. I will set up a permanent monument. For them that will remain. That monument set up so that even when you are gone, you can be remembered better than your children. It is an activity of the cult of the dead. Mankind has participated and is still participating in the activities of the cult of the dead. We have been enrolled. 
Tonight, right now, I disenroll you from the court of the dead by the power in the blood of Jesus. If you agree you have been enrolled, you cannot take the power of Christ and disenroll yourself. Say after me, I disenroll myself from the court of the dead as I enroll myself into the body of Christ. Amen. I disenroll myself from the court of the dead. I disenroll myself from the court of the dead and I register myself a member of the body of Christ. I disenroll myself from the court of the dead and I register myself a member of the body of Christ. I disenroll myself from the court of the dead and I register myself a member of the body of Christ. I disenroll myself from the court of the dead and I register myself a member of the body of Christ. I disenroll myself from the court of the dead and I register myself a member of the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. That is how we gain the power of our Christ when we enter into Christ. That is why we have to take that prayer, the very first one. Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. It is Christ and his power that we can use to disengage ourselves from these three calls. We are disengaging from the court of the dead. This is how it is done. You will pray again. The, the idols ever worship in my bloodline that are still lying dormant in my blood, waiting to wake up by my next birthday. Let the power of the blood of Jesus destroy them now. In the name of Jesus, the idols ever worship in my bloodline that are still lying dormant in my blood, waiting to wake up by my next birthday. Let the power in the blood of Jesus destroy them now. The idols ever worship in my bloodline that are still lying dormant in my blood, waiting to wake up by my next birthday. Let the power in the blood of Jesus destroy them now. In the name of Jesus. You will pray again. The idols ever worship in my bloodline, waiting to get activated. Let the power of the blood of Jesus destroy them now. Idols ever worship in my bloodline, waiting to get activated. Let the power of the blood of Jesus destroy them now. In the name of Jesus. The idols ever worship in my bloodline, waiting to get activated. Let the power of the blood of Jesus destroy them now. In the name of Jesus, I have been made a king unto Jehovah. Let the power of evil through taking charge of my life be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I have been made a king unto Jehovah. Let the power of evil throne taking charge of my life be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I have been made a king unto Jehovah. Let the power of evil throne taking charge of my life be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I have been made a king unto Jehovah. Let the power of evil throne taking charge of my life be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Powers spending people's glory in my father's house and my mother's house be destroyed and release my glory in the name of Jesus. Power, spending people's glory in my father's house and my mother's house, be destroyed and release my glory in the name of Jesus. Worship handed over to me through my blood. That is not the worship of Christ. Aspire in the name of Je the worship handed over to me through my blood. That is not the worship of Christ. Aspire the worship handed over to me through my blood. That is not the worship of Christ. Aspire in the name of Jesus. Worship handed over to me through my name. That is not the worship of Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. The worship handed over to me through my name. That is not the worship of Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. The worship handed over to me through my name. That is not the worship of Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. The worship handed over to me through my name. That is not the worship of Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Worship handed over to me. Through my place of birth, that is not the worship of Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. The worship handed over to me through my place of birth, that is not the worship of Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. The worship handed over to me through my place of birth, that is not the worship of Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You will pray again. The worship handed over to me through my place of origin. That is not the worship of Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. The worship handed over to me through my place of origin. That is not the worship of Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. The worship handed over to me through my place of origin. That is not the worship of Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The worship handed over to me through my place of residence. That is not the worship of Christ. Let the worship die in the name of Jesus. That worship handed over to me 
through my place of residence. That is not the worship of Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. The worship handed over to me through my place of residence. That is not the worship of Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And these are the prayers. Come back to take these prayers. In those prayers are deep truth and secrets. If you do them very carefully, the first place to notice them is in your dream. Something is going to happen. This is the Prayer Research Institute. The three mystery religion courts, court of the dead, part three is closed. Now we are moving to the cult of child sacrifice and then the fertility cult. These are all worship capture mechanism, worship hijack mechanism, deep truths, deep secrets, cryptic in nature, but the prayers that are fast acting. Thank you for joining. See you the next one.